It took me two days to complete all of this. But this is rose jelly, and this is how it was made. First, you're gonna get a big pot of water. I have 12 cups because I'm doubling the recipe and I have four quarts of rose hips. So put the rose hips in the water and boil. Once they're at a boil, you're going to put it on low and then you're going to put the timer on for one hour. And in that time, you can uh, exercise, you can read a book, you can learn about something. Uh, I'm gonna go play a video game. Bye! And then after cooking for an hour, we get to uh, smush them all up. Now that we have our hips all mashed up, I'm going to remove the juice from all of this pulp and seed stuff because the only thing that we want for jelly is the juice. And I'm not gonna show you because it's gonna be messy because I never have cheesecloths on hand and that's all that I need. So we found a towel and got kind of a cheesecloth thing going. Um, so I'm just gonna squeeze that out and then uh, we should have, uh, I'll filter that once more, but then we'll have our juice separated. Once we have our hot water bath going, we're going to add into our juice the uh, 12 tablespoons of pectin. And remember, this is a double batch, so that's why we have 12 tablespoons. And then we're also going to add in two shots of lemon juice. Just kidding, that's a cup. We're gonna let that boil and dissolve all of the pectin before we put in the sugar. Once the pectin is all dissolved, then we're going to add our seven cups of sugar. Oh, I'm doing this with uh, one hand. And then once that dissolves and we get it to a decent boil, then we are going to start canning. And a half of a teaspoon of butter goes in. Ah! Kate okay, needs to roll boil for a minute. Yes. <sighs> we got this, we got this. I'll stir it. Say one minute, one minute. Filling it up to a quarter inch, so just like halfway past the the two lines. After you fill your little jar, you put that cap on, and then you put the ring screwed on tightly, so then everything stays in when you hot water bath it. Then when it's all on, you put it in the hot water bath for 10 minutes. And then we leave them out here to cool, and you can tell like that they sealed when the top doesn't pop or click when you push on it. So yeah, all good. And there's the final product. It looks kind of like honey, and it tastes like, uh, kind of like a flower. So it's really cool. Yeah, give it a try sometime. Rose jelly. Oh yeah, uh, this should be a recipe your grandmother could help you with, but if she doesn't know, you could learn together.